start streaming. Put this right in front of me because last time you guys said you couldn't hear me. Good morning, everyone. Uh oh. Sweetheart, I need something for the chat. Oh. Ooh. Ugh. I have nothing to read for the chat. What time is it? 7.02. ay -ya. A little late. Sorry about that, guys. I've been up since 5 in the morning. Oh, excuse me. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. The kitties wanted attention at 5 in the morning. I was like, you're kidding, right? Man, our babies weren't even like that at five in the morning our babies let us sleep good morning mandy good morning piper how you doing well there goes a chuckle me me may i have chicken all right why is there no sound is there supposed to... why is there no sound uh-oh hey damien hi michael hi free ranger Good morning, Chris Ding. Hi, hi, hi. Kaya. <laughs> There's no sound. Is it my headphones? Can you guys hear the, the game? You can't hear it? There's nothing. No birds chirping? I wonder what happened. Oh, well, I heard that. But there's no birds chirping. Right? Kenko says, hi, everyone. It's my 34th birthday today. Yay! Happy birthday, Kenko. Happy birthday. I don't even hear the cars. Huh. That's interesting. Escape. Save. Should I quit to main menu? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And then we're going to have to... Yeah, you have to do that. You Good morning, Bobby. Okay, heard that. Continue. There it goes. All right, now we hear the game. All right, let me make this bigger for you guys. Hold on one second. Black screen real quick. And then, ba-boom. Yay! We're at level, store level 96. See, why does it look full? Why does it do that? It's full now. But when we start, when we open the store, it's not going to be full. It's not. I don't know why it does that. Does anybody know who plays this game? Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome. Oh, no. What's wrong with this mouse? There we go. It's weird sometimes. Is it the mouse or the game? There we go. Oh, chips. Nope, chips look good. Let's put this back. Let's help the boys restock. Let's check bills. Beautiful sounds. Lovely, lovely. Good morning, Chloe. It's Kenko. It's my 44th birthday today, says Mandy. Really? Well, happy birthday. Everybody's everybody's born today. <laughs> morning, Yami. Well, they had their birthday on this special day. What is today? April... Six is today the sixth? No, seventh. Today's April seventh. Well, it's here April seventh in California, seven o six a.m. Let's check. Okay, flour went up, oil went down. Flour went. Oh, by the way, Kaya, you made a mistake yesterday. You charged one of the books a hundred and ten dollars. Sushi small. I didn't change the price of the book. Uh, you changed some prices. I didn't change any Kaya, prices. I would never put a book $110. And then after, after I, I was done for a day, it said four expensive prices. Why would I put a book $110? Didn't you didn't touch the books yesterday? Well, you know what? That's okay, because uh, I could check the live stream. <laughs> if you played yesterday on the live stream, I'm going to check. Oh, that doesn't go there. 
I'm gonna check the live stream. Did he? And then the, it was there was some other ones that needed to be changed as well. <laughs> Good morning, Jane Banks. Nancy said level ninety six. Yes, it says store level ninety six on here. Check small sushi. That's a good price. Olive oil. That's a good price. Flour. Is it this flour? This flour. Check all the flour, just in case. Birthday today. Eclipse from the path of totality tomorrow, says Mandy. There's an eclipse tomorrow. Yeah, so this book, after, um, so I got on after Micaiah played, since I'm already up at 5 a.m., and when I played one day, it said, it said, four found to be expensive prices. So I went through everything in the store, and this book was marked at $110. So, yeah. <laughs> We'll just double check the books real quick. Pretty sure. So before we started today's live stream, I already played this morning a little bit because the kitties woke me up. Why do they wake me up? Why don't they wake up Micaiah? They love Micaiah more. And it's okay. I know they do either. Because th these cats tried to kill me in the beginning with their fuzzy, furry coats. Ooh, sorry. Nancy found the expensive item they were complaining about yesterday. Yesterday? This morning, Yami. This morning. <sighs> oh, excuse me. My gosh, my allergies are acting up already. Anybody else having bad allergy season? Or is it just me? Seems like every year is a bad allergy season. Stores look good. The store look good. Oh, the stores. The shelves look good. Gentlemen, the shelves look good. Oil. Do we have enough oil? If they leave large gaps like that in the, on the shelves, then that means there's nothing in our storage room. And, yep, we need more oil. Oh, we got product. Ah, oil. Purchase. Yay. So I'm still half asleep. I woke up Micaiah because I was having issues with the, the live stream. And is there a saying that they go to love one person but go to another for food or something? Chris. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. All I know is that, you know, Micaiah is the one who wanted these cats. He was the one who says, can we, can we adopt one? And it all started with Ochako because he said he never had a Siamese cat. And she has beautiful blue eyes. And we're like, okay, one kitty, one kitten. And then it turned into six. Yeah. And getting used to six kitties Micaiah buying the most expensive cat food out there so that it, it's it, it's a type of cat food that it eliminates the protein in their fur which aggravates people's allergies so yeah we're feeding them that I mean don't get me wrong we love them they're sweethearts but man they can be divas and they can be drama queens especially pepper i like the layout of the store thank you jane banks that's all makai is doing yesterday he was saying that oh this is still your game it's not my game i'm just the restock boy i'm like oh my gosh you played this game more than me now <laughs> I got home from work yesterday and he's like, okay, you ready? I'm like, no, I don't want to play. I want to rest. Give me a day off. We're so close to 99. Today is the day. Today is the day we did say we're going to hit level 99. And we're close. 
We are very close. See, why did it do that? Store level 96 now. Why did it drop down? That is so weird. Good morning, Demi. Bobby Wolf says, hey, the cars are back today. I know. I know they are. I got hit by one earlier today. Okay. What do I need? What do I need? Do we need it? Can we open? I don't want to rush. Okay. Book. Book. Oh, the, there was another book down here. Which one was it? It was the one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven books. I have eleven books. Do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm missing one. Oh, it's this one. It's the surprise book. That's the one that is missing on the shelf. Okay. Is it this one? Is it this one? No, not that one. Emily Wong's all probably like, take a ride! Take a ride! Is there a car coming? Nope. Not now. This I Won't Share book is our best seller. Have to have like 30 in stock to survive the day. Yeah, these books, man, they're money makers. This one right here, the surprise book. Oop. I didn't have this one. Oh, a car. I missed the car. Car? Nope. So what do you guys have planned for today? Later on, I have work with Michaela. Gotta get Sophie ready for school tomorrow. Where are we going? Never mind. <laughs> oh, we're at a red light. That's why. I was like. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, Lizzie. How you doing? Our star looks pretty good. Still got books. So, yeah. I have to finish editing today's video so that it can go up. I know, I was like, let me go ahead and live stream until we get to level 99. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I got to get a video up. I have so many videos. I am behind. Way behind. I still have to edit the girls' Christmas video when we went to Disneyland. I, pu I put in the last video of um, Makaya's Christmas video at Disneyland. I put down... The girls' this video coming soon, and nope. It missed me. Grandma's doing good, Lizzie. Grandma is sleeping at 9.30. I gotta wake her up. She has her little routine. Pasta. We need spaghetti. What else do we need? As long as we have stuff on the shelf... We will survive the day without complaints. Chicken. No empty shells with a zero. Could do with more honey. Another chicken. And I don't, oop, and I don't spend that much money over buying stuff. I mean, if I buy, oh, oh good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Kim. If I over, you know, over buy stuff, that's okay because it can go towards the next day and less time I have to stock. But man, it's just going to take so much time. I literally spent like an hour just restocking. Thank you, Aaron Scott. Really appreciate it. Oh no, Piper says, I was going out with a friend today, but they had to cancel on me because they got a sunburn and a headache. Ooh, been there, done that. When you get a, when you get a bad sunburn, oh yeah, if it affects your whole body. I, 
There it is. I was like, I had another spot for chicken. I know I did. And for the items that only have like four to a box, you got to make sure you have plenty of those in stock. I got enough cereal. Okay, so I don't have to buy that. Imagine if the items had expiration dates. Oh, Disney Claw Girls. Someone said that they might do that to the game. They might add expiration dates. And if that's going to be a feature, oh gosh. That will make the game much, much harder. Because you're going to have to keep up with the expiration dates. You're going to have to make sure that the ones that are about to expire are up first to be restocked. I don't know if even the restockers will do that. Or are they just going to grab any box in there and then they'll restock the shelves. I don't know. We'll see. what. We'll see. We'll see. And then there was talk of food spoilage. Like we're going to have a refrigerated section in here to put the stuff that needs to be refrigerated and in the freezer. Good morning, sweet bee. E eating pistachios for breakfast. Yum. We need potatoes. 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 I think I saw four empty. Yep, four empty. Ooh, we need mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. All right, let's go take a look at the sugar, flour, sugar good. Mm, we could use another brown sugar. Red pasta. Rice. Brown sugar, red pasta, rice. Brown sugar, red pasta, rice. There we go. Yeah, once we get to level 99, I mean, what is what else is there to do? I mean, you could get all the licenses, you could do all the expansions. But, I mean, we've done so well not buying all the licenses. We actually saved a lot of money doing that. Oh, no. Hope you feel better, sweet bee. Positive energy, positive vibes. Makaya, I love you. I don't want you to be mad. Come here. Well, I'm not mad you are I'm mad. mad. You no, you are mad. You're all, I did not touch the books. <laughs> I'm like, baby, there's you and then there's me. And yesterday, I know you were, you know, playing a I lot of hours. I don't remember any of the books changing price, so I didn't touch them. Because I don't think I did. At least you don't think you did. Okay. I'm going to watch that live stream. <laughs> well, well, baby, I know I would not make that mistake. Because as soon as someone complains that, especially four people complain that there was something too expensive, I immediately go through every single item in the store to price check. And that's what I did. And I was like, 110. I was about to take a picture, too. I was like, where's my phone? I couldn't find my phone. So I was like, forget it. But $110, 110, I was like, what the? 110.75. So I think you were going to make it 1075, but you accidentally put an extra one. And now that you can use your number key, your keypad on your keyboard, I have to be extra careful because even I put in sometimes the wrong credit card amount. And I'm like, no, 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 I didn't want $110. I wanted $11. So, still debating what... Now watching on TV while chatting on my phone says Bobby Wolf. <laughs> so, should we expand first? Or should we get another license? I'm thinking we should just do all the expansions. Just make our store huge. How does that sound? Oh my gosh, we're bare. Look at all those yeah. zero, zero, zero. OK, 
Okay, we need lasagna. We need the ham and cheese ones. So that one and that one. We need the scallop gratin and the moussaka. Oh my gosh. You want to play? No. <laughs> He's all, I need a break too. I, still like two I need to go to bed. Oh man, I got a headache. Someone, I don't know who, probably either Deku, Shoto, or Pepper, because it was a heavy boy. Someone ran over my head this morning. I don't know why the cats do that to me. I don't see that being done on anybody else, just me. They do zoomies and then they run on top of my head. Good morning, Helena. Lizzie says, license, license, license. Good morning, Sarah. License? You don't want to see the store get bigger? How much is it going to cost us? I mean, we could get another license right now. Let's let's check. Let's check. Licenses. So we can get this license, this license, this license. We can get any of these licenses. We just need to make sure we have the money. Yeah, level 90. So we could get any of these licenses. I don't see anything that I really want to get. Except for the alcohol, because you guys are right. That sells. But it is very expensive. Very true. And that's the most expensive license is 65000 And then if we wanted to grow our store, 64500 for the next one. Yeah. Expand by 4 by 4 Lizzie says, I miss so much, I don't know what you have yet. Oh, Lizzie. Well, let's go take a look, shall we? And, oh, we need a whole bunch of cleaning stuff, too. How is this? So we still have that, that. Ooh, the scallops. Or did I leave that outside? So we need shampoo, cleanser, durian soap. Oh, man. How are we out? Shampoo, cleanser. All right, let's go take a look outside. Do I? So oh, I still have boxes outside. <laughs> I was like, because I saw I saw shelved in, or was it stocked in? The boy the boys came in here and started putting these away, which tells me that we didn't have enough inventory on the shelves. That's bad. As long as we have a fully stocked store when we start the day, we will survive without any complaints. Do they? Nope, they're just chilling now, which is a good thing. I won't open the store if they're still restocking the store. I will wait. Make sure everything is fully stocked. And then we start the day. Because throughout the day, they're playing catch up. The shoppers come in and they just buy all kinds of stuff. We need cheese, 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 cheese. All right, put these away. Oh no, you need to rest this sweet bee. I do. I went to bed up. Midnight? Was it midnight? Was it midnight, sweetie, that I went to bed? It was before that? Yeah, I was tired. So when he said, you're going to play the game, right? I'm like, no, honey, no. Don't make me play. <laughs> and then the kitties woke me up. They want to play. They want to have fun. Micaiah bought this machine that dispenses kibble for the kitties, but it's not working. So what do you mean it's not working? I had to stick my hand in there and dig out the 
Oh, it's the power supply is low? No, it's off. Oh, it's, 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 it's not plugged in. Oh, okay. It's not plugged in. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, the kitties were like, you know, they're telling me something. They're telling me something. So I'm like, okay, what is it? That's if, if it's not food, it's water. If it's not the water, it's your litter box is dirty. If it's not that, you want you want to play. If it's not that, then you just want some scratches and hugs. And I'm like, ugh. But 5 a.m.? Really? 5 a.m.? <laughs> Bobby Wolf Timber. You like it when the boxes fall like that? I don't. <laughs> I'm like, watch out! Lawsuit! There we go, there we go, there we go. Looking better. Looking much better. Alright, we got pizza, crab, fries. Have enough ice cream. Oh, we need yogurt and one egg in that box ugh yogurt and big eggs yogurt and big eggs yogurt big eggs bleach yogurt big eggs bleach yogurt big eggs bleach all right let's go take a look at the alcohol section Oh no, we need tuna and hummus and kegs. Tuna, hummus, kegs. I feel like I'm spending most of our time just in the storage room now. There we go. Spending too much time. You went to bed at 1.57 this morning, Lizzie? Ouch. I want a Starbucks. I don't crave Starbucks, but today I am. I am craving Starbucks. What do you want? Ooh, are you gonna do a Starbucks run? Yeah, I'll go to Starbucks. <gasps> oh, oh, what would I? What what should I have? Hmm. Well, they say they said to stay away from caramel frappuccinos. Those are very unhealthy. Too much sugar. I do like me a nitro cold brew unsweetened mm. what to have what to have do I want a tea no I don't want a tea what should I have sweetie mmm they're creme brulee lat uh, lattes from the holidays Oh, those were good. Do, do they still have that? I don't think so, huh? Because it's seasonal. I bet that's not even good either. Creme brulee latte. Sounds similar to a caramel frappuccino. A caramel macchiato. Ooh. That probably has a lot of sugar, too. Can they do a caramel? No, they can't do a caramel macchiato, but sugar-free can they? You know what? I'll get a cold brew. Cold brew? Cold brew. Thank you, baby. You want to ask the girls to see if they want something? Yeah. Baby. <laughs> nah. That's messed up. That teaches them to be, you know, inconsiderate as well. Dad didn't get us anything. Why do I want to get him something? No, no, no. They're not like that. They could be if if we don't think about them and we get ourselves Starbucks and don't bring them home anything. Do a ice chai tea latte with sweet cream. Ice. Is that is that full of sugar? Watch out for cars, Nancy. Says Bobby Wolf. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you have to walk with a walker, Jane? Ouch. Thank goodness, yes, you won't have to have it long. Positive energy, positive vibes, my dear. Just making sure none of the boxes fell behind this tree. 
or trash can. All right, we need to get dog food and cat stuff. Oop, not God, dog, D-O-G. There we go. I just got, I need to stay away from sugar. It's very windy and rain. Oh no, Lizzie, please be safe. <laughs> Kent goes, oh yes, get them something at Starbucks, Makaya. Yes, please. I will never, ever, 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 ever eat food from Starbucks. Nope. Uh-uh. Never again. Never again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Too many times have my friends and I have had food poisoning. That's our own, you know, that's our fault. We're hungry in the morning. We see those delicious looking sausage and egg sandwiches. Yep. There, I don't think there's refrigeration in those glass cases. I think it's just a display case. And then they grab those egg sandwiches from the display case and warm it up. And the, like 30 minutes later, ooh, I gotta hit the bathroom. And I had a cake pop from Starbucks that tasted like two weeks old. So bad. And they're not cheap either. Those are expensive. Okay, so we could do with a few more sushi boxes. Sushi. I was watching uh, the Sidemen on YouTube. I love accents. I really am not making fun of anyone's accents. I love accents. I want to copy your accents. I want to sound like that. I just sound, I don't know, regular. Just like a regular accent. Is this considered an accent? An American accent. Nah, people think of American accents when they talk, when, you know, they hear Micaiah talk. He goes into a very, very deep Southern accent, which is very funny because he was raised in California. <laughs> so there's no Southern accents here in California. There's that stereotypical surfer dude accent which you know we never had mainly because you know we're not surfer people <laughs> I know right Bobby Wolf oh no not good food poisoning good morning Nate how you doing my beard looks good who put trash out there I never even noticed that there's trash right there in front of my store. Yami says, at least the ones that aren't baked goods are stored in the fridge. Oh. Okay, well, they have a delicious lemon cake. I love their iced lemon cakes at Starbucks. They're good. Unfortunately... There's some Starbucks cases that they just like leave the doors open and flies and fruit flies get in there. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, not going to get one of those today. I don't know what's been laid on my cakes. I've been watching too many documentaries. <laughs> Do you guys like documentaries? Remember Shark Week? Oh my gosh, I love Shark Week. I can hear Morgan Freeman's voice right now. I think we're good. Let's, you know what? We're starting the day. Let's open up, baby. Yeah, let's have a good day, gentlemen. Let's do this. We're starting off with $23,000 in our bank account. No loans, right? No loans? I didn't, I didn't take a loan out. Did he? Good, okay. Yeah, I gotta double check with Makai because I'm like, uh, what'd you do, sweetie? <laughs> Besides restock, what did you do? All right, 
Let's check the toilet paper. Oh, did I check the alcohol? Oh, no. Toilet paper looks good. Vodka. We could go for... Oh, whiskey and vodka. Okay, so let's take this out of the cart. Let's grab some whiskey and vodka. Yeah, so when Donna, when you visited us and... It's one thing to, like, read your text messages and your DMs, but to hear your voice. Oh, my gosh. That East Coast accent that is it. It's not really a New Jersey accent. It's not really a Boston accent. It's like a combination of Boston, New Jersey, and New York. Am I wrong? Or is that an actual, like, Boston accent? Oh, you're right, Yami. He could have picked up the accents on the ships. That's very, very true. We need more keg. We need more beer. Ooh. Keg. Beer. All right, let's purchase these. Whee! Thank goodness there's like a Starbucks around every corner because... Remember back in the day when Starbucks was like an over hour wait to get your coffee if, when you're standing in line in the morning? Nowadays, oh my gosh, put in your mobile order, just go pick it up. But now the issue is parking because finding parking in the parking lot, ugh. So now you have to go with a friend or a family member. It's like, okay, run in, go get the order. I'll circle back. More whiskey. I'll go in and help with the register. Bye, Chris. Oh, no. Yami's got to go. Bye, Yami. Have fun at work. Work can be fun. I've had plenty of fun days at my work. Got to keep that positive energy, positive vibes. Let me double check this real quick. Oh, I thought you already left. He hasn't left. We need water. Maybe that's why I have a headache. I haven't been drinking enough water. Water? Wuta. What movie is that from? Is that from Parent Trap? Is that from the Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan? Wada? When the grandma's scolding her granddaughter. Wuta. Is that right? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta go. E. So, did you know that was a new feature that they added as well? The whole, you can close the checkout now? Because that wasn't a feature before. So, if you press E, you can close and open the checkout. Which is great because then I don't have to store the register in the storage room when I can't ring up. Ten. One, two, three, four, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty-five. Have a good day. Sounds like parent trap, Yami. I think so. I think I think it's the one with Haley Mills. I'm not sure the original parent trap, but I could see I could see a young lady. She says, "Oh, I'm just gonna go grab some water." Water? What's water? Water comes out of the tap, falls from the sky. Oh, you mean water? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's parent trap, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm having one of those days, and this new medication I'm on is not great for my memory. Freaking Benadryl. Ugh, I needed a stronger allergy medicine because, you know, Claritin wasn't doing it. And the Claritin D24, which is the stuff that you need your uh, ID to purchase here in California. I don't know if that's the same everywhere. Ooh. 
There we go. 72, 75. See, I'm typing it in. I can type it in now. I don't have to punch it in with the mouse. So, yeah, the Claritin D24 was giving me heart palpitations. It was making my heart race. So I had to stop taking that. 152.75. Have a good day, Mr. Bond. Oh, Mr. Bond, welcome back. Or are you the brother? Have a good day. Love it. Lieutenant Dan! I love Lieutenant Dan. There we go. Have a good day. Oh my gosh, there's so many Lieutenant Dans. Oh, no change. Love it. Have a good day. So I noticed that when I help ring up, we get more customers a day, which means more SP points, which means we get to level up faster. Have a good day. How you doing, Barry? That's a good book. Hope you like that book. 96.65. My nails are, are too long. I need to cut them. I know they're too long when I can't punch in these numbers correctly without having to use my actual nail. I used to be able to use my fingertips, but because my nails are too long, I have to use my nail. Oop, cash. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Have a good day. Addison, how you doing? Have a good day. We never gave this gentleman a name, did we? Because nothing's coming up. If I know your name, I say it right off the bat. Have a good day. So that's Clark Kent, that's Kendall, that's Mr. Bond, that's Addison right there in the orange. I see Blair, Janelle, thank you for coming to my, my, my line and giving me something to do. 7220 for Janelle. And this gentleman is Denzel, right? We named him Denzel after Denzel Washington. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. It's 9 o'clock. Close the store! That's Bill. That's Walter. Denzel's coming back to my line. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Oh! Denzel! Are you 200? Ah! <laughs> Oop, not 800, sorry. 231.55. Yay! We had a $200 order! That was amazing. Thank you, Mr. Bond. $2 change. Have a good night. Robin's over there. Who else is in here? I don't know this gentleman with the blue tie. That's Scarlet. That's Brian, a.k.a. Sweaters. I don't know this guy. Oh, Chad. Isn't this guy Chad? I think he's Chad. Do I have anybody in my line? We need to give names to everybody. That's Sid, because Sid has his skull on his shirt. That's Mr. Bond. And who's this gentleman? I don't think we gave him a name. The one with the grayish white hair, that's Anderson Cooper. They have the same suit, but that gentleman has brownish black hair. Uh, oh, we're doing great. 30,000 so far. Woohoo! Yeah, that gentleman, we don't have a name for him. We need to give him a name. Larry? Is there a Larry yet? I don't think so, hon. Should we call this guy Larry then? Larry in the blue? All right. He's Larry. He looks like a Larry. And then that's Sophie behind him. Because Sophie said, you know, name that character after me. That's Sophie. So then what should we name this guy? Richard. He looks like a Richard. He looks like a Mr. Big from Sex and the City. No! Oh, that guy's name's John. We need a Ken. How do shadows? We have a Ken. We have a Ken. The Asian gentleman. That's Ken. 
Okay, so we got a Larry and we have a John. We have a John. Larry and John. So Anderson Cooper's younger self, that's John. You know what? I'm closing. Oop. We're going to close this. Yay. And we're going to help the stalker boys restock the shelves. Especially anything that's like one box. They don't take the one item and they take the box with like the more items. I noticed that. That's why I have like three boxes with one item on the shelf. I'm like, ugh. So annoying. Yeah, let's go restock the bread. Makaya, did you leave? Uh, I'm getting you're getting the girls' drinks? Okay. You're... She hasn't answered yet? That's when you say, Alexa, make announcement. I'm going on a Starbucks run. What do you want? If you would like anything. Only a Larry when Micaiah plays and changes the names of the stalkers to Lay, Curly, oh, Larry, Curly, and Mo. No. No, 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 no. We aren't doing that. <laughs> we have a fourth person. What's the other guy's name? If, if they're Larry, Curly, and Mo, what's the other guy's name? Spaghetti, elbow pasta. Okay. One, one, one. I'll oh, probably need another one of those spaghettis. Oh my gosh, I got such a bad headache. Oh, I'm going to need to take medicine. Baby, may I have one of your headache medicines, please? The Excedrin. Oh, why do I have a headache? I don't want to have a headache. Thank you. Shemp? Who is Shemp? Is there an Allen? I don't think we have an Allen. Hey, Nate. Nate says, hey, Nancy, when you open the store, do you have a certain time to close it? Or can you stay open longer to make money? Uh, I, th I think you can stay open longer. But someone says that you got to be careful of the electricity bill. I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm. I did not know there was a fourth stooge. Shemp is the fourth stooge? Mm. I would like a cold brew. Grande cold brew. Oh. Now I gotta wait 30 minutes for this medicine to kick in. Ow. It's like right in my eyeball. It's the socket where my nose and my eyeball meet. It's like piercing head pain. Coffee. We need coffee. What? That's an option now? Light, medium, or dark? Yeah. Do you like dark roast? Do you like medium roast? Do you like light roast? The blondes? Oh, I did not know you could do that. I just always said cold brew and they just gave me whatever. Shemp took Curly's place? Oh, I did not know that. Wow! That's... That was you. That wasn't me. Mm -hmm. If anybody heard that, that was Micaiah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Disney Clock Girl says, you probably have a headache from lack of sleep. That is very true. I mean, there's all kinds of factors why I could have a headache, but that is a very good point. Thank you, Disney Claw Girls. All right. Medium. I don't want a cold brew. I want... What do I want? <laughs> I honestly want a caramel frappuccino, but they said don't drink those. Uh, I will get an upset tummy, and I have work today. Um... I, I would like one of those nitro cold brews with the foam, the foam? but sugar-free. 
please. Um, they said get the iced chai tea latte, but I'm pretty sure that has a lot of sugar too. They have a calorie count somewhere. Okay. Larry, Moe, and Shemp started the Stooges. Curly came later. I did not know that, Wickawoo. That is so interesting. Did you know that? Did you know there was a fourth Stooge named Shemp? Am I even saying his name right? Shemp? Hey, Wickawoo. The Grande is 240 calories. The Grande is 240 calories? Ice chai tea latte? No, 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 no. I don't want to drink my calories. The tall is 180. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to drink my calories. <laughs> I want... Oh, we had a great day. Look at that. 118 total customers and all of them satisfied. Not too bad with the profit. We did spend a lot on supplies, but... Iced peach tea? Iced... Yeah, iced peach tea. Ice... Do I want tea? These are all teas. Do I want... Ooh. Ooh. But you, but you gotta look to see which ones are sold out. Sold out? You gotta look to see if it's sold out. Ice Cafe Americano... An ice, an Americano, you know what Americano is? Espresso with water. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. It's not bad. It's just a weaker espresso. Ooh, ice caramel, oh, the ice caramel macchiato. No, that's a lot. Crap. This is so difficult. Why? What's a flat white? I hear that a lot. What's a flat white? So if you choose the flat white, I've had the flat white. What before. is a flat white? It's just a milk and it, it's a hot drink with a, a, a it's a hot coffee with foam. That don't look like a it's a ice. Well, yeah, that's an iced, but it's a flat white. They make it flat. Kenko says, "Get a refresher." Ooh, yeah. I, I want a refresher. You gotta be patient with no, me. Okay, go use the bathroom. You smell like you need to use the bathroom. Shush. <laughs> I found you found my phone? Yeah, it was in your apron with the screen still on. I'm sorry. Your phone was almost dead. I don't like looking at my phone anymore. It's very depressing. Because I, I get nothing but bad, bad news on my phone. And I, I just don't like looking at it anymore. It's a very sad pro. I used to love looking at my phone. First thing you do when you wake up, look at your phone. Nowadays, I'm like, nope. Okay, I, I don't know what to pick. I can't make up my mind. This sucks. It's one of those days. Tell me what to get, guys, because I, I just... Don't get me anything with a lot of sugar. What do you recommend? I'm thinking sweet, but they have sugar-free stuff. Ketchup and spaghetti. I want something refreshing. I don't want anything creamy. Because I have work and he's right. I'll, I'll, ups, I'll upset my stomach. Ketchup and spaghetti. Ooh, I want to go to Jollibee for lunch. Get that banana ketchup spaghetti. That everybody's like, ugh, it's not the best. I think it's good. I like it. I mean, would I pick... The Jolly Bee spaghetti over, over mushroom ravioli. No, I love mushroom ravioli, especially from Romano's Macaroni Grill. Oh my gosh! Or Maggiano's. Maggiano's has some really delicious baked ziti. <gasps> oh. You look at the weather first to decide what you get. How to shadows? <laughs> Make a decision, Nancy. Don't be like me. Yami, I got a headache. And I had a cat run up my face. Used me as a trampoline. Decide for me. <laughs> I don't want to make that decision. Because if I'm going to make a decision, I'm getting me a caramel frappuccino. And I'm told not to drink those. Ever since Michaela's birthday, we have been indulging... First, we celebrated Michaela's birthday. Then we then we celebrated my birthday. And then we had Easter. And now it's time to get back to the gym. <laughs> A peach green tea. 
hot or cold. A mango dragon fruit refresher? That has a lot of sugar. Piper says, I don't drink coffee. I think it's just gross and bitter tasting. Piper, you don't have to get, tell me to drink coffee. Drink a tea. Just watch out for the sugar. That's the only bad thing because, man, Starbucks has those drinks with a lot of sugar. Literally, diabetes in a cup. Oh, no, that was chicken. Oh, well. Potatoes go there now. Wee. You grew up watching the Three Stooges and the Little Rascal. Aw, oh, Nate. I remember being a little kid and seeing, you know, the Three Stooges and the Little Rascals. I don't remember many storylines like I do the older shows like The Brady Bunch or Happy Days. Oh my gosh. Cable TV. You watched the movie Back to the Future starring Michael J. Fox. Look at those TVs. I remember my dad telling me, Nancy, go fix the TV. And I have to like move around the metal antenna. We'd had foil on our antennas, <laughs> hoping to get a better signal. Oh, the good old days. My kids know, though. My kids are educated, so they're not going to be, like, looking at a rotary phone and go, what's that? I, uh... I love the TV shows from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, says Bobby Wolf. Of course. Jane Banks says, I'm going to be up since four this morning and I'm sleepy. Don't want to make anyone mad, but I love you guys. Watch the next one, okay? Okay, Jane, you take it easy. Get better. Feel better. Wickaboo says, and I feel you about the cats on the head thing, Nancy. My cats run across my head all the time. Reason I have scars on the scalp. Ooh, Wickaboo, ouch. I don't have scars, luckily. Uh, have I decided? No... They, they made some good suggestions, but nothing grabbed my attention. Okay, so nothing. You're mean. I need to go, I need to order it and then go pick it up. <laughs> did, did you place the girls' orders? I, I have to wait for yours. But I'm putting them all together. Okay, did you put your order? Yes. Did you put the girls' order? Yes. So you're just waiting that, on mine. That's why it says three at the bottom right. You're such a meanie. So what would you like? I would like... Of ooh, Dis Disney Claw Girl says vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew, but is sweet cream is that dairy or is that? You know what? Just get me a nitro cold brew. <laughs> just, just get me that thing. I don't care if it's blonde or dark roast. I, I need. Get you, something. you know what I do want that I would love for you to take your butt and go get it. Hmm. <laughs> I would love a hash browns. And a sausage McMuffin, no egg from McDonald's. How does that sound? Okay. Cool. That's what I really want. <laughs> I so, want. So, so you don't want Starbucks? Do I want Starbucks? No, I want Starbucks. Okay, so but you want the, the, the nitro cold brew? Nah, you're right. I'll just drink the. Uh, I'll have a Diet Coke. What? You're so indecisive. I am. I told everyone. I can't make up my mind today. Have I tried the new lavender drink, Chloe? I did. It tastes like soap. Everyone was right. It, was, it looks pretty. It looks tasty. But man, it tasted like soap. Oh my gosh. We're so... We're always out of books. We're always out of books. I don't mind being out of books, but look how expensive it is. It's like, there goes my profit. I mean, we get a lot of profit selling these, but man, ah. Uh... There we go. Purchase. That's 20 boxes. Oh, wait. I need bread. And then we also need probably more vodka, knowing 
our customers. There we go. That's 30 boxes I have out here now. 30 boxes in less than a minute. <laughs> Everyone get your drink orders in for Micaiah. <laughs> How to Shadow says, make it too. I want McDonald's too. The Arcade Hawk says, I'm sure that food is unhealthier than the Frappuccino. Uh, uh nope. Because what I really wanted was a caramel Frappuccino. Grande. Did you know that has like 600 calories? I'm pretty sure a hash brown is 200? Last night, I had too many margaritas with dinner. I think that might also be a reason why I have a headache. <laughs> no sleep. Getting over the alcohol. I'm probably just hangry. If anything, hangry. Maybe that's why I have a, a headache. is because I'm hungry. Do you guys get headaches when you're hungry? I do. I, I got... So nauseous one time at school because I was so hungry. Not my parents' fault. It was my fault. I was like, I'm not hungry. I don't need to eat anything. Go to school. Oh, not feeling good. Steak, egg, and cheese bagel with hash browns for mcdonald's yum yum says nate pitts what is that a steak and a wait steak egg and cheese bagel from ha wait a minute how how have i never heard of this i would have gotten that instead for at mcdonald's what kai are you still here no he left steak egg and cheese bagel Ooh, ooh, a bagel right now with cream cheese. Yum. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, I know you're here. I just heard you. You, you, you're here. Okay. Uh, I have to the Okay. You want to get bagels? Bagels? No. From where? Costco? Costco doesn't open for another hour. Or do they open now or another hour? Uh, Costco, uh, Costco. Do you think they have bagels? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Bagels and cream cheese? Okay. Would you rather get that than, than McDonald's? That's fine. Bagels and cream cheese sound good, huh? Bagels and cream cheese sounds better than hash browns. Okay. Okay. Bagels and cream Love you. Don't be mad. I don't know. Because we're not getting McDonald's anymore? Okay. No, I want you to be happy too. Okay, drive safely. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with me today. I, I usually can decide on a drink and what to eat, no problem. But today I just can't, I can't choose anything. Ooh, with some bacon and the bagel with cream cheese. <gasps> oh, sweepy, that sounds great. We have bacon. Micaiah likes making bacon on his new griddle that we got from Costco. Oh, it comes out so good. And it's a beautiful sunny day today, so I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I was going to make stew or pot roast for tonight, which I should start cooking. Throw in some potatoes and some carrots and some onion. Put it in a... Well, you could put it in a crock pot or you could put it in a Dutch oven. I cook mine for at least, at least six hours before serving. So it's nice and tender. And 
the vegetables have so much flavor. Oh, <laughs> so good. Ooh, bagels with peanut. Oh, with butter and jelly, says with go woo. Butter and jelly. Interesting. Bagels with butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly, I can understand, but I've I've not had it with butter. Gonna have to try that. You know, I never knew people put butter and jelly on croissants until I saw that movie, National Lampoon's European Vacation. I was like, what's she doing to that croissant? She's ruining it! <laughs> oh, good morning, Sophie. Good morning. Oh, you sound cheerful. You woke up late? This is technically not late for some people. You went to bed early, sweetheart. No, I went to bed late. Oh, what'd you do? You were playing your Roblox? Ah. Oh. It's cold down here? It's 73. We have to keep it at 73 for Grandma. Well, hello, you're wearing shorts and a tank top. Of course you're going to be cold. 73 is still comfortable uh, sweatshirt weather. Jumper weather, jumpers, sweatshirts, hoodies. Yeah, I need chicken. <sighs> I wanna, I want another day. I wanna start the next day, or because I have to restock everything. It's taking so long. It's taking so long to restock everything. It takes almost about an hour to restock everything. Ooh, Lizzie, air fried bacon. It's okay. We've had air fried bacon. It's okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I, why am I typing bacon? <laughs> <laughs> what, I need flour. Here I am subconsciously picking bacon. Do you want to cook bacon? We could cook bacon. You want bacon? Maybe. <laughs> Daddy is going to get bagels and cream cheese and Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. I would go. I would happily go and get it myself. I'd probably be back by now with the food, but he had a lot of things to do. He had to do the litter boxes. He had to take care of the kitty stuff first. He had to go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> I know. I was like, you want me? She just woke up, guys. I literally banged on my bed and... Well, he was trying to get your Starbucks order. He didn't want to, know. you know, he didn't want to guess. He wanted to make sure that's what you wanted. And you weren't answering your phone, which means you were out. You, you were out. Oh. What? I used to sometimes eat my bagel with cream cheese, jelly, and bacon too? Ooh, yum, sweet bee. That sounds delicious. You like to air fry your chicken nuggets, Lizzie? Mmm. Air fry, air fry, air fry. Nate says 73 is beautiful. Yes, 73 is great. That is the perfect temperature. I don't know why. I found a new combination that I like. What? What combination? People are going to think that's weird, but I tried it. One day I knew it was up to fruit juice. What combination? Um, this coming from the kid who hates fruit. <laughs> what kid does not like fruit? My Sorry. kid. <laughs> well, no. It's just you have unique taste. You have unique taste buds. Exactly. You love Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli. But forget about the oranges and bananas and strawberries. <laughs> yep. I think we're ready. We're going to open. I don't care. If we're short on something, it's my fault and my impatience. What's your combination? What do you like? Okay, I like cheddar cheese ruffles. Cheddar cheese ruffles. People are going to think that's gross, but... Just say it! Chili. Cheddar cheese ruffles and chilies? No, that's... chili. Cheddar cheese ruffles and chili? Yeah. That's actually a thing. Really? Yeah. A lot of people put, like, Fritos and chili together, okay. like a dip. I didn't know that. 
Yeah. No, that's not that's an unusual. That was good. Yeah. I actually I actually done that. I like chili with a lot of stuff. I'm like, what did I make? She's all, I'm a genius. <laughs> that's literally Look what I created, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Girl in the garden. Grilled on the, grilled on the Ramsey himself. <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. It's actually a thing. Surprisingly. All right, Yami, be safe. Okay. Have a good day at work. Hopefully no one will complain. Hopefully we have enough items on the shelves in our stock room and on the shelves of our store. I'm hungry and I have chicken nuggets in the air fryer now. I don't stop eating chicken nuggets at this rate. I will turn into one. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are what you eat, then I am a french fry. I love french fries. French fries are my comfort food. When I'm not having a good day, I have French fries. Crinkle cut are the best. Absolute best. Second best, steak fries. Those huge ones. Oh, those are so good too. I just like the texture. It's the texture and shape of crinkle fries that make it more pleasurable to eat. It's more enjoyable. Oh man, I, I could go for some Shake Shack fries. Don't get me wrong. I love your dad's fries. Your dad makes really good fries. Oh, yeah. It just takes a long time for him. <laughs> and then, you know, the house smells like oil, which I don't like that smell. I don't know why I don't like the smell. You like the smell of oil? Oh, what's your favorite weird smell? My favorite weird smell? Gasoline. <laughs> I know it's bad for you to breathe in gasoline. The fumes kill your brain cells. But I honestly like the smell of gasoline. I'm gonna be completely honest. I like the smell of a brand new Sharpie. You like the smell of a brand new Sharpie? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't a brand new Sharpie just the same as a regular, you know, just Sharpie? You like the smell of Sharpies? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, spaghetti and pizza, Bobby Wolf. Heck yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you putting spaghetti on top of your pizza and wrapping it up? Yeah, like a sandwich because uh, that sounds good to me do we, have cheese? Do, we don't have shredded cheese <gasps> message papa message papa and let him know we don't have shredded cheese Ooh, we could make some nachos shredded cheese on top of some tortilla chips we have sour cream we have guacamole oh yeah I noticed we didn't have ice cream, so had to buy that. Butter, yogurt, eggs. Oh no, veal chops. We're out of veal chops. <gasps> veal chops is expensive too. No. Veal. Get three boxes. That was a big hit. Ugh, we're back down to thir under 30,000. Do you 30, like the smell of fresh money? Fresh money? That, that actually smells good, actually. Fresh money? <laughs> Ooh, a fresh book. <coughs> Excuse me. A new book. A new book? Oh, I like the smell of old books. Old book? I like the smell of old books. Yeah. Like a like a really old book. Like we have those inside and you know, we have Britannica encyclopedias yeah. which um you know, are irrelevant now. <laughs> the information, the new countries. Yeah. What? Yeah, those Brit no. Britann Huh? Uh, Veal is just expensive, says Haru Shadows. Piper says, Me too, Nancy. I love the smell of gasoline. <laughs> Hot Cheetos and Reese's Cups are my weakness. Wait, what? Do you uh, need that as a, as a combo? Hot Cheetos and Reese's Cups, my weakness? Ooh, Jessica. Yum. Oh my gosh, I have, I'm reading your guys' comments. I don't realize I have a line. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, Barry. They're like, What the heck are you doing? Sorry, Barry. Sorry, Barry. 25, 35. Have a good day, Barry. This guy's Alan. We're naming him Alan. Alan. Yo, the credit card. 
Have a good day, Alan. Viola. How you doing, Viola? You just want to change, Viola. Have a good day. Mr. Smith. Agent Smith. How you doing? That's a lot of books there, Agent Smith. For the kitties? 520. Have a good day. Taylor, how you doing? Love that bottle of wine. <coughs> Excuse me. Philip, how you doing, Philip? 2510. Have a good day, Philip. Who are you? Your name is not ringing a bell. Because you probably don't have a name with us. We're going to have to come up with a name for you, sir. Have a good day. Bill, how you doing, Bill? One book, huh? Lovely. Have a good day, Bill. Walter, my man. My main man, Walter. Breaking Bad, Walter. 6280. Have a good day, Walter. Grass? Mr. Anderson Cooper, how was today? Good day at filming? 55 cents. 55. Have a good night. Julia Gulia. Julia. How you doing, my dear? 15 I cents. Have a good night. Mr. President Barack Obama, how you doing, sir? I like grass, but... I hate the smell I'm of grass. Allergic. Have a good night, sir. I'm allergic to grass. Idris! Just one thing of sushi? That's it tonight? Yeah, and they cut the grass pretty much literally every single week. Don't know this guy. What's his name? Anybody have a name for him? Something. We'll have to give a name to this gentleman. <clears throat> and this gentleman. So nothing's coming up. Uh. <laughs> have a good night, sir. This is Sally. Sally has a back tattoo that looks like Sally from Pixar's. That's how she got the name Sally. This is Kendall. Have a good night, Kendall. This is Bruno. Ever since Bruno said something was very expensive on my shelf, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's how he got that name. Have a good night, Bruno. This is Addison from Grey's Anatomy, Addison Montgomery. Hard day of working at the hospital. One, two, three, four. Have a good night, Addison. This is Bill. This is our cashier Bob's brother. They look like twins. Just Bill looks a little older. Have a good night, Bill. Dr. Patel. Dr. Patel, she looks like a doctor I used to go to for my allergies. Have a good night, Dr. Patel. And this gentleman, I don't know his name. We need a name for him, too. One, two, three, four. Have a good night, sir. And then Janelle, you guys helped me find out her name, the actress from The Glass Onion. We named her Janelle. Am I done? Oh, the store's closed. Close! I think we're done. I think everybody's in a line. Is anybody still shopping? Bye, Wickawoo. See you later. Have a nice day. Bill Nye, Yami. Which one's Bill Nye? That's Barbie. There's Corey. That's Denzel, Taylor, Sally. Janelle's over there. Lieutenant Dan's over there in the gray suit. Alan is the saloon bartender. We're going to name the saloon bartender-looking guy Alan. Keith? Keith. Mm, he, I would name somebody Keith if they have glasses. Kind of reminds me of Keith from the Try Guys on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close this register. We're out of here. Let's go help the boys restock. Only one orange juice. I am so glad to get rid of this box of orange juice. What? There we go. Just to make sure. Close. Throw away. <coughs> <coughs> Lloyd, the bartender from The Shining movie. Lloyd? Lloyd? Lloyd. 
Lloyd. It's not a bad name. Lloyd. But we're going to name that bar the saloon guy Alan. He looks like an Alan. I think I can... No? Okay, saloon looking guy is Lloyd then. Oh, gotta stretch. Ooh. Ooh, gotta stretch. Have a good day. Oh, 119 satisfied customers. Yes! Okay, so we'll name the saloon looking guy Lloyd. Jessica says the guy in all white clothes should be called Morgan Freeman from Bruce Almighty. Oh, you're right, Jessica. That's a good one. But we named him Idris, like after Idris Elba. Beautiful man. Blue shirt with bow tie is Bill. Mm, Bill Knight, but we already have a Bill. Bill is Bob's brother. <laughs> Lizzie's all, hear me out. Mickey D's barbecue sauce with air fried chicken nuggets. Chef's kiss. Oh, of course. A staple. Nate says, you said Julia Gulia. Is that from The Wedding Singer? Yes, Nate Pitts. Of course. Beer. The needs to be changed. Good morning, gentlemen. We're going to have another great day today. You want ramen? Daddy went to go get bagels and cream cheese. You don't want bagels and cream cheese? You want ramen? Okay, go ahead. Have our ramen. That's fine. It's Sunday. I'm, in, I'm kind of in the mood for a couple noodle too. Oh, man. Okay, so should we change the gentleman in all white to Morgan? I can go. I can get behind that. That's a good point. Because then when I see him all dressed up in white, I can think of Morgan Freeman from Bruce Almighty. And that's very true. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I still have this wicked cough. And it just won't go away. This stupid, phlegmy, disgusting cough. Ugh. Just double checking prices. Just double. We already checked all the prices. It was just the beer. All right. Everything still looks like it's on the shelf. Nothing missing. Don't worry. There's no tags. So if you see something empty with a tag, then we have to worry. But nobody complained that they couldn't find anything. So that's a good thing. Because once we run out of something, it's the game's automatic response to have a customer complain. Oh, can't find this. All right, first thing to do, pay the bills. We don't have anything in our cart, so we gotta look around and find out what we need to restock. We need a Gregory house, says Haru Shadows. Oh my, Gregory. We'll, we'll probably just call him House, Dr. House. House, just probably House. T, we need T, T-E-A. T. Is anyone writing all these names and descriptions down? No. No, we don't need to write it down. We have the stories. We have the clues as to why they're named that. Is Sunday fun day? I hope so. I hope every day is a fun day. Every day should be a good day. Every day should be a positive attitude day. At work, it's really, I mean, it's great, but it's also kind of sad how many compliments I get for being a cheerful person. I mean, like, <laughs> excuse me one second while I go cough. <coughs> uh, there we go. I I feel bad because I'm like, do you not come across cheerful people? <laughs> I, re I mean, it's great, these compliments I'm getting. You're such a cheerful person. It's very nice to have you, you know. I don't, <clears throat> excuse me. Sunday tries to be a lazy day, says Hot of Shadows. Oh. Okay, Yami, have fun. Have fun at work, my dear. 
Yeah, so I get all these great... Someone is at the front door. Thank you, my dear. I get these great compliments saying that I'm positive. I have a cheerful attitude. I'm always pleasant to be around with. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, I just, I'm, I'm grateful to get those kind of compliments, but it's kind of sad, you know, like, because I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories about bartenders and servers at restaurants and how they weren't pleasant and how they're, you know, having a negative person can really ruin your dining experience. So that's why I try to be, you know, pleasant and cheerful and positive all the time, especially at work. That's a, that's a requirement. Oh my gosh. What is, I'm dying. <laughs> Sophie, yeah. could you grab me a drink, honey, please, from this fridge? <sighs> I'm gonna have to take that cough medicine again. <sighs> I'm much better. I'm much, much, much better. Thank you, sweetheart. Lizzie says, at work, I'm always a happy, cheerful person, and they know when I'm quiet and not talking much, they know that something isn't right. What was that? Was that you? Yeah. Did you take a picture? No. Did you see that flash? There was a flash. That was scary. Like someone taking a picture? That was weird. Hi, Michelle Phoenix. Oh, thank you, Nate. Nate says, it's true, Nancy. That's why I like the lives you do. So fun and positive. Thank you. Because that's what I teach my kids. I'm like, have a positive attitude, positive mm -hmm. energy. Nothing good comes from being negative. Your mind and your body all is one. So when you have a positive outlook, your body responds to, you know, to positivity. There's been research done on that too. You know, what is burning? Sophie, what's burning? Is something on? Baby, is something on? Hold on one second, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, the house is not being burned down. What is that? Yeah, well, that's why you know now. Don't make that mistake again. So, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. False alarm. Well, no, no, not a false, not a false alarm. A false? That that is something to okay. Live and learn, cause that can start a fire. Okay? okay. So, if there are crumbs on your burner, make sure you wipe it off before you turn on your burner, so that it won't catch on fire, <laughs> or or create a horrible smell. Both Nancy and Makai make the lives <clears throat> fun in their own life. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. They do. All of a sudden, I smelled something burning. I'm like, what does that smell? And sometimes, you know, we have a very confusing stove. The ranges, you know, it's like, is it the front one? Is it the back one? I, I miss the old school ones. How much do we need? 64,000. Okay, sheesh. We're halfway there. But yeah, so unfortunately, there was something on the burner. We have a flat stove top. Ooh, excuse me. So if someone had like crumbs or something on it, and you start the stove top, it will burn and it will cause a smell. That's why you have to have it clean before you use it. So it doesn't make a horrible smell. 
and the bigger the crumbs you <laughs> it can catch on fire so make sure it is clean Nancy, is that flash from the sun catcher I sent? It might be. Oh, it might be, Helena. Good point. Okay. Uh, a sun Remember, I thought there was a flash of light from your picture. Yeah. I thought you took a picture. But Helena says it could be from the sun catcher. That, okay. There we go. And Michelle Phoenix says, bless you, Sophie. Thank you. And living my best life says, you don't know how much a worker's positive attitude affects the people they serve. Aw, that is true, living my best life. Thank you. Nate says, yes, definitely wipe it off. Been there, done that. See, it happens, honey. It happens to everybody, okay? Now that it's happened to you, you're going to learn from this. Okay. Okay, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Gotta okay? <laughs> if, you, if it caught on fire, what do you do? Turn it off immediately. Turn it off immediately and? Get a fire extinguisher. Get the fire extinguisher, yes. Get the fire extinguisher. Yeah, don't, you know, if there's a flame, don't even try to get a towel and try to, you know, bat that thing out. Get that, will, the, that will make it bigger. Get the fire extinguisher. That might make it bigger. We got to get that blanket. I saw that blanket where you put this blanket over the fire and it extinguishes it. We got to get that. Yeah, I would get that. Okay. Love that sound. We need to we need to restock the shelves. We miss the whoosh 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 whoosh, whoosh sound, don't we? Mm -hmm. It's the best sound. Are you boiling water? Yeah, we're boiling. Did you measure how much water? Yeah. Okay. Cause some ramens that you need to cook the noodles in the water, they also use that water for the broth. So it's always good to measure the water so that you won't make your ramen too salty or dilute the soup base if you put too much water. They said four cups. Okay. It's always good to have less water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Less water. Because you could always add more water after. But if you have too much water, then you're going to have a bland soup. And you don't want bland soup. I mean, unless you do want bland soup. If that's how you like to eat your ramen. <laughs> Hi, Mary. How you doing? Mine drive my husband crazy, says Helena. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I like him. I don't know about Makai. He hasn't said anything. What? About the sun catcher. Oh, no. Lizzie says, I heard about the earthquake in New York. Oh, yeah, me too. 25 aftershocks? What the? What is going on? Yeah. Well, as long as they're not huge earthquakes. Yeah, it, it doesn't. There's barely any earthquakes in New York. Yeah, that's why everyone's like in shock. Like, we had an earthquake. What the? What do we do? Just like how there's barely any rain here. Now it's raining pretty much every week. Well, no, I mean, when we had the flood, when we had the great flood of 2021, where people had to, like, use boats and kayaks in yeah. San Jose, it's like, oh my gosh. And then, wasn't there a tornado in San Francisco recently? Oh, really? Some, something like that? I saw it briefly on the news. And then even Demi's like, Nancy, be careful! Tornadoes! I was like, what?! Uh, honey, not in our neck of the woods. Nah, she was right. There was a tornado. Sweepy says, yes, I was at work when it happened. Oh my gosh, Sweepy, did you get under your beautiful desk? Your beautiful cinnamon roll desk? Your lovely decorated cinnamon roll <laughs> desk? Like, it never rains. Like, rains. It never... There's I... never earthquakes in it never, oh, I thought you said, it never rains in San Jose. It never rains in San Francisco. It never rains here at all, nor even a tornado. The weather is major. why am I writing Santa, now I'm writing San Jose. <laughs> Good golly. I, uh, my brain. See what happens when you can't concentrate? You're just subconsciously <laughs> typing in words. Uh. Yeah, 
well, yeah, that's why I was like saying we have to get ready for these storms and stuff because what would happen if there was a tornado here? What do we do? Yeah, we don't have a basement. We don't have a basement. Yeah, so what do we do? Do we go to a high school for cover or like what's the emergency plan? Yeah, we need a good plan. Remember we were talking about like bomb shelters? <laughs> I was like, I would love a bomb shelter oh, in my backyard. Yeah. Just never know when you might need a bomb shelter. I want to be honest, there is a car that is filled to resist bombs. <laughs> it's called the Tesla truck. We need a Tesla truck. Makai said those are bulletproof. I'm like, why didn't we invest in that? Had I known the Tesla truck was bulletproof, I'd be like, yeah, get one. Yeah, it's full. That is full proof. Yeah, it's bomb. How much are Tesla trucks anyway? Are they a hundred, a hundred thousand? I know, I know they're expensive, <laughs> That's but, how they are. but how expensive? Is it like the same as buying like a Lamborghini or is it the same as like buying a house? Alexa. Which technically you could buy a house for the price of a Lamborghini if you were like living in Kansas. How much? How much is a Tesla truck? 39000 A Tesla truck. A Tesla truck. There's no way it's 39000 uh, Okay, Alexa's wrong. Oh no, you had to leave all your cinnamon rolls behind? We might not get to see it? Living my best life? See what? Near San Diego, Tornado 2? Oh my gosh. How much is a Tesla truck? She looked up the Tesla <coughs> Model S. Oh, Tesla Model S. No, 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 no. That one's 140. Hot, Hot Shadow says it starts at 60K. That's it? Yeah, that's not bad. That's good. Isn't a regular Tesla at 60K? I don't know. I thought there would be more expensive. <clears throat> yeah. Helena, yes, take advantage of the sunny day. Have a good day. Relax. I would. <laughs> Nate Pitt says, in Indianapolis, we're going to have a great view of the eclipse tomorrow. Wow. A total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> what time is the eclipse? Does anybody know? Piper is at level 14 now. Yay! Good job, Piper. I wonder what level Caroline is at. We haven't seen Caroline in a long time. Or Essa. I wonder if they're stuck on this game. Which... Which I totally understand. <laughs> I have to mail out Essa's care package. We want to send Essa a care package. And we have to send D me. Helena's gift and our care package. We have care packages that we got to send out and I'm dreading it. I have PTSD because of the issues we've had with mailing packages before with all the packages have been lost or stolen from us. It was, ugh. I still haven't received a package from Japan that we mailed and then Carrie sent a $500 package with Lottery prizes and Sakura Starbucks stuff. Still haven't gotten that. I don't. I don't even know why I say still. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna ever see it. You know, realistically, it's been over a year. That's the soup base. Oh. Yeah, you put that in the soup, or you put that in the water to make the soup. Almost level fifteen. Nice, Piper. We're almost level ninety-seven. Ooh, we need cat stuff. I'm going around seeing what they're not filling up and buying it. Okay, so we need this book and cat stuff and bleach. Oh my gosh. Need a lot more stuff. Cat stuff. Bleach. Book. Where's that book? This book. 
Let me get another box. How much money did we start with? We're at 34,000 now. Weren't we up to 40? Seems like I make a profit after buying everything like $4,000. And that's buying like the bare minimum stuff. What's that? I'll just send you gifts from Japan, says Sweepy. Aws. You don't have to do that, hun. We're getting to the point where, or at least I am, I'm like, do I want to become a minimalist? <laughs> oh my gosh. Not really. I, 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 I look at this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, where am I going to put this? How am I going to decorate our room? Like our, our lounge fly backpacks, our Mickey Mouse ears. There, I have a drawer, a drawer full of Mickey Mouse ears. I would love to display them. And I've looked on Instagram for like a couple of ideas. But I'm like, mm, it's just going to get dusty. And maybe the cats might think like it's a toy or something and try to get them. So I'm like, they're in drawers. We have so much stuff. And then we have, oh, we were watching, like, um, we were trying to remember what we did for Michaela's sweet 16 birthday party. And thank goodness I have those YouTube videos because, yeah, we just watched the YouTube video. And it's like, oh, yeah, I remember that day. And then it showed our, our Kuposket wall. And, oh, I missed that wall. It's 11.43 in northwest Georgia, says Bobby Wolf. Well, it's currently 8.44 a.m. here for us in California. Mm-hmm. Hope Micaiah is okay. Haven't. He's getting Starbucks and bagels with cream cheese. I would have happily gone out and got it, but he didn't want to play. I guess he's tired. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm taking a break. Yeah, you can grind for hours on this game and not realize it. I need a trigger, right? Yep. Yep, I need a trigger. And oil. <laughs> I want to play the game. I don't want to restock anymore. That oh, that better be a new feature. They have to have a, new, a, a better way to restock the room. They have to have our restocker boys also stock our shelves in here. You know what I mean? So if the shelves have labels, our boys should be able to restock our storage room. Or I'll hire someone just to restock the storage room so I don't have to. That should be an option. Because this is taking forever! <laughs> I want to be in the store! I want to say good morning to Bob and Bill, Kendall, Kylie, Taylor. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. And they've been adding new characters, too. They've been adding more people. Same outfits, different hair colors, I think. Oh, Sweet Pea says... Oh, it's 4.40 p.m. in Fife right now, Lizzie. Oh, your day is almost done. I Love Dollar says, It starts at 10 and lasts for 4 minutes? Sweet Pea says, The eclipse will happen at 3.25. 10 a.m. in Vancouver. Oh, so, okay, so Sweepy, if it starts at 3, so then it's noon, it's 12.25, right? Yeah, three. you're three hours ahead of us. Yeah, so for us, it will start tomorrow at 12.25. Nice. It is too bad that the packages just show up on the shelves. Oh, I would love it, Mary, as soon as I buy it, that it would just show up on the shelf. That would be lovely. 
But, I mean, the restock boys can do it. You know? This used to be fun. This part used to be fun. Do we need oil? We have all this room waiting for the next... You know what? I'm just gonna... I love this sound. Ha-ha! <laughs> we have all these empty spaces because we want to get another license. We were waiting for the new license. But now I'm thinking maybe we should just expand. Expansion takes a long time to save up all that money. I want to see how big the store can get. Are we good? Can we open now? We got that, that, cat stuff. We, got, we should get more blue cleaner and another bleach. Okay, another blue cleaner and another bleach. What else? Let's go back over here. Oh, we need, oh my gosh, we need water. So <laughs> I missed this whole section. Water, soda. Milk. Uh -huh. Yes, sweetheart. Yes, what's up? This is the type of hair I want. This is the type of hair you want? The color. Oh, it's purple on the bottom. That's what I wanted. That's what you wanted? Yeah. That's fine. You could have gotten that. You. Hey, you were the one who wanted to cut your hair short. You said you wanted to cut your hair short. I was like, okay. You said you wanted layers. I'm like, okay, it's your hair. Your hair grows fast anyway. You'll, you can get that hair in like a couple months. We just got to find the right person who can do that hair. Sophie showed me a picture. The lady had long brown hair, like what Sophie did have before she cut it. And then, kind of like Nezuko from Demon Slayer, how she has the pink on the, on the ends. This lady had, like, lavender, a light purple. It was very pretty. I could probably do it. But, you know that it's such a pain. The process is such a pain. And then you have to worry about dye getting on the sink and then the tub and then your towels and yeah it's just better just to go professionally get it done and then hopefully the professional you know they get the right color because there was a time where we got Michaela's hair professionally dyed red and I was not happy with the color she looked like a clown the red color they chose for her literally a clown it need to be a deeper red not bozo the clown red I wanted Jessica rabbit red and they gave us Crayola crayon red are we good now boys have a good day lieutenant Dan you will be working tomorrow Piper during the eclipse you can see it on the news. You can see it on the news or... Oh, you thought Sophie's hair color was black, Lizzie? No, she has dark brown. It's closer to my hair color. But I have black hair. Her hair is darker than her sister's. Michaela has light brown. All right, I think we're good. Everything on the shelf looks fully stocked in the store. Oh, we need ground beef. Oh my gosh, we need ground beef, fries, and pizza. <sighs> ground beef, fries, pizza. Sophie-chan, yeah. help daddy at the car. 
He just sent a message, please. No one's gonna eat my ramen. Please, no one's gonna eat your ramen. No one's awake yet. Ooh, you frosted your tips once, said John. Frosted tips, that was so popular in the 90s. I got highlights for the very first time in the 90s while I was in high school. That cost me $110. And then after that, I stopped coloring my hair so I can donate it. That is such a process to keep, you know, to maintain. If you color your hair, get your nails done and all that stuff, you got to have appointments scheduled. <laughs> you have to make time to go to the salon to get beautified. Rice, I need rice. Rice, no rice. Probably use a few more of that one too. I asked Makai, I was like, do you want to go get a manicure and pedicure with me? He's all, no. I was like, why? You, you said you liked it last time. <laughs> he said he tried very hard not to kick the lady in the face when she was scrubbing his feet. Because <laughs> he's so ticklish. And my girls, too. They're very ticklish, their feet. So I'm like, don't kick them. Don't kick them. If you're going to kick them, warn them. You know, just say, I'm very ticklish on my feet. Just give them a heads up. Yeah, because, you know, I try to help Micaiah, you know, help him with the little mani petty, save some money, do it at home. He kicked me in the face. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, it, it would happen. You know, I usually have reflexes like a cat. Why did I put the pizza there? Did I do that? He kicked me in the face hard. And he was like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Wait, Dad? Well, he, we were younger. You weren't even born yet. <laughs> but yeah. Lizzie says, yes, Jenny, it's self-care. Absolutely. You need to you need to set time for yourself. Set some time for those appointments. He loves it when I cut his nails. <laughs> I don't know why. He's all my wife's taking care of me. When I have time, I don't mind. I can do it, and it saves money. But every now and then, I like to go and get it professionally done. It saves me time. Oh, there have been times I've fallen asleep in the chair while getting my hair cut. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. Uh, have you ever done the nod when you're in the, the chair getting your hair cut, and all of a sudden you start falling forward and you go whoop? And your head just does the nod. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. Better the forward nod than the backward nod, because that one, ow, that one hurts. Where your head falls backwards, and you're like, ah. <laughs> Thank you, honey, for the run. Did you get cream cheese and bagels? Hoo hoo hoo! They were recommending we put bacon with the bagels. Bacon? Bacon? Or some spam. Spam and eggs? <gasps> oh my gosh. I can go for cream cheese on a bagel with scrambled eggs, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Like a bagel BLT with egg. Oh, ha, ha. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. You don't even know. <laughs> Cheese. 
We're almost there, guys. Almost there. And then we can open the store. I think. I hope. You meant to say Eclipse, Mary? Jenny says, I can't wait to do my next Manny and Petty birthday treatment. Nice. Thank you, sweetheart. Hotter Shadow says, I won't do a pedicure. Too many stories of people getting infections. Ew. 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 Infections on your feet? Ugh. I like it now how they have those plastic liners that you put in the tubs. So... Luckily, knock on wood, I've never had an infection. But back in the day when I was younger, and I did get acrylic nails when I was younger, like before 20. I took the nails off after like having them on for like three months, and a couple of my nails were green. Yeah, and that usually happens after a fungus is growing on your nails. That's not good. So, ever since then, I don't get nails like that done anymore. Nope. No fake nails. No, no, no. Painted, you know. Have a little manicure. Hello, DJ King Jeff. How you doing? Oh, that's what you said, Mary. Oh, Mary says, Nancy, did you see an eclipse in elementary school? It was in the late 80s. My school let us outdoors during the elites. I can't remember which... Oh, the, during the eclipse. That's what she meant to say. What? Do you remember that one time... Haley's comment? Yes. And I was so comfy, I fell asleep. Yes, I remember that. It was funny. Every... I, you get so relaxed in those chairs when you're getting your hair cut, so it, it happens often. That's what the... Well, at least that's what the stylist told me. She's like, well, don't worry about it. A lot of people do that. I, I don't know if she's telling me the truth or just to make me feel comfortable, but I can see it happening. Those chairs are comfortable. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting in a chair that's uncomfortable while getting your hair cut. Oh, that's awesome, Tinkerbell. Changed my profile pic of my favorite hair color of me. Lovely. Hey, The Great, how you doing? The Great says, hiya, Nancy, working job two and listening to you. Have a great day at work. Be safe. When you get home, get into some sweats. Kick your feet up and relax. That's what I wanted to do yesterday. Get into my sweats, kick my feet up and relax. But no, hubby thought I wanted to play the game. <laughs> See? I don't play this game that often. It is, hey, I know when to say no and take a break. Thank you very much. You I ended the day with having 12000 in the bank. Uh-huh. And I woke up this morning to start the live and there was over twenty. Yeah, because I told everyone I was playing the game. I told you, the kitties woke me up 5 a.m. Zoomies on my head. Mommy, feed me. So I was like, I'll go check out the game. We have the live at 7 a.m. Let's see what we have to do. We need money. We need to grind if we want to expand the store. Are we good? Are we okay? Will we, su will we survive? Nothing's... Okay, it's okay that I have zero here sushi because I have all this small sushi. And then we have four cases of big sushi. So as long as our store is fully stocked and we have at least one box in our storage unit, we will be okay. No one will complain. Ooh, honey. Okay. But the box has to have stuff in it. And my boys like to put boxes back with, with only one product in it. I have no orange juice. Ugh. Every single time I go back and I look and I'm like, I need more stuff. What is missing here? What is this? This is toilet paper. Why do I have no toilet paper on my racks? Oh my gosh. I'm never going to start the game. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be endlessly restocking this storage room. Didn't we just buy vodka, wine, and whiskey? What the heck? Oh my gosh. I want to start the day. I want to say hi to everybody. I'm a very social person when it comes to this game. Infection and toenails at nice places? Ew, that's disgusting. I would love a bagel. Yes, please. DJ King Jeff says, should visit at the Santa Cruz Wharf by the McKay Island Kitchen and Grocery, I'm thinking you meant to say, DJ? <laughs> Why, what's over there? Is there a nail place? I will drive far for a nail place. I would even go to, like, Las Vegas, L.A., My gosh, a thousand dollars. That's because of the alcohol. The alcohol is pricey. Oh my gosh, we've been restocking this room for like what, half an hour? Has it been an hour? I know we've been chatting, and I've been looking. I've been looking at the chat, so I had to like stop to look at the chat. Like Mary says, have you seen the outside cat lately? Michelle Phoenix says, you'll get there, Nancy. <laughs> Lizzie said, I had my nails done once for Christmas and New Year, and my nail got badly damaged. Oh, ouch. So I've had two bad experiences with nail salons. One, and even, unfortunately, Sophie had this happen to her. They clipped her her cuticle and it started bleeding and that hurt her so she won't be going we, we gotta find another place i mean i understand you know nail salons no one's perfect but still they gotta be careful and the, and these ladies rush because you know the more customers you have the more money you make but if it's at the expense of your customer's safety no no so not going there again. Gotta find another nail salon. And then some nail salons, you have to make appointments online and then pay in advance. And I'm like, what? No, thank you. I'll find a different place. And I would love to go to a spa. Wait, this is not here. I would love to go to a spa. Every time we go to Disneyland and we stay at the hotel, I want to go to the spa. But I never end up going because, you know, we're so busy going into the park. Yeah, we're there for the fun. We're there for the fun. We're there for the food. We're there for the merch. We're also there for the rides. Mm -hmm. Definitely for the rides. Well, the kids are, you guys are more, more for rides. I'm more for relaxation. You're relaxation chilling with my food doing a little shopping bring home some gifts we still have a caramel apple in the fridge from my birthday i'm like how how long is too long to have a caramel apple in my fridge hubby says two weeks maybe three at the most i did research on google and they said no more than a week so I'm like, but it's a caramel apple. But still, it's like it's a caramel apple. It shouldn't spoil right away. Apples don't spoil right away when they're in the fridge, right? Oh, Lizzie says it was me. I damaged it when I was asleep. Woke up. Ooh! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, you. ow, 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 ow. Demi, you're back. How you doing? Yeah, I, I bought enough toilet paper, right? Are they taking it and putting it on the shelves? Did we not have enough on the shelves? Uh, yep, they're taking it. Because as soon as I put it in, they're putting it on the shelves. Uh-oh. Well, good thing we bought that because 
if we have we don't have enough on the shelf, then someone will definitely complain. Can't find toilet paper by eight o'clock at night. <sighs> okay, we have plenty of the purple toilet paper. It's the gr oh, he brought back a box. Nope, that's something else. Tuna, hummus, kegs. Tuna hummus kegs. Tuna hummus kegs. Tuna hummus kegs toilet paper. Tuna. Tuna. Hummus. Kegs. Toilet paper. And it's the green one. I think this is it. I think this is the last that we have to purchase in order to start the day. How many times have I said that? Literally, I think we have been stalking since Makaya left to go get food. Yeah. We have been restocking this storage room for a long time. But hey, we had 118 or 119 satisfied customers. So if that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do. A different kind of grinding. Ugh, ordering sucks. <laughs> oh, Je Jenny says they probably take a deposit because of customers scamming and running out. Yeah, I've heard about that. There was a story that I heard of a young lady who went with quote-unquote friends of hers from school they all went to go get mani petties together and I think it's a youtuber a youtuber told this story but she or no uh no 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 oh it's Elise Elise from Instagram she told this story her and a group of friends went to go get mani petties at a nail salon and the girls that she went with told her, oh, sh she's taking care of the bill. And she had to pay for her and three other girls. That's so messed up. And then, yeah, I've heard stories of girls going in to get their nails done. And then they run out. Ugh. To be fair, you know, well, no, not, not to be fair, but man, that, that's, you know, that's scary to think about that because getting your nails done, it's expensive nowadays. It's like a hundred bucks minimum. I just go to get a manicure, which is like they, they, uh, trim your nails, they clean your cuticles they use this special type of lotion to soften your hands and then they can put on a clear coat or nail polish just regular nail polish if you want gel which is a type of nail polish that lasts longer like for me it only lasts three weeks but i know people who have gel nails that last for like months All right, everyone, let's have a great day. I'm opening the store. I'm hoping we have enough, right? We got juice. We have something. Do we have kegs? I should get more kegs. We have enough of that. All right, let me get more kegs. Good morning. Good morning. Michaela's awake. What time is it? It's 9-11, 9-11 in the morning. I always see these these girls at the arcades, the arcade workers, they have these, oh, thank you, sweetheart, beautiful nails, and they have, like, these jewel, it looks like jewelry, like, these little gems on their nails and butterflies, and I'm like, how do your nails not get scuffed up? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, I'd be so afraid that the gems and the butterflies and stuff would get caught on something That's why the first time I, got a trailer, I, got 
I did not like your acrylic nails. You didn't? I did not like your red acrylic nails. Why? They were long. Mm. They were yeah. super long. After being in martial arts and playing the piano for many years, I've grown accustomed to very, very short nails. You can also use them to jab your eyes. <laughs> you can, but you don't need nails to jab eyes. You can just use your very strong fingers. How do people put their contacts in with long nails? I have a hard time, says D. Me. Girl, it's called the side of your finger. Because when I got married and I decided to get nails, I was like, oh, I got to practice how to put my contacts in. And I had to use the side of my finger. Have a good day, Sally. It's not as hard as you think. But the one thing that you I did need to grow accustomed to <laughs> was everything else in my daily life. Especially using the restroom for a lady. That was interesting. Morgan! How you doing, Morgan? Have a good day. This is Sophia. She reminds me of the girl from One Tree Hill. So that's Sophia. Have a good day. And this is Larry. We decided to call him Larry, right? This is Larry. 26, 20. Six fifteen. Have a good day, Larry. This is Viola. Ten forty for Viola. One, two, three, four. Have a good day, Viola. Lieutenant Dan. How you doing, Lieutenant Dan? AKA Gary Sinise. Have a good day. That's Jason. This is Denzel. Denzel, only a bag of chips? You want change, don't you? <laughs> well, no, you, you came in for a snack. Have a good day, Denzel. There's Sid. I don't have a name for her. What should we call her? What is her name, you guys? Laura? She kind of looks like Laura Croft from uh, Tomb Raider, the game. Kind of? Is it just me? Have a good day, Laura. This is Brittany. She reminds me of Britney Spears. Or Hillary Duff. Could have gone either way, but Britney. I, I think Britney. Have a good day. Mr. President, welcome back. Barack Obama. And you need $2.05. Have a good day. That's Sheldon. We named him Sheldon because of his shirt. The Atom. I still haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Has anybody seen Oppenheimer? And, or not seen Oppenheimer? One, two, three. At this point, I might as well just see Dune 2 at home. I don't even know if it's playing in theaters anymore. Who are you? I don't have a name for you. Are you Alan? Shall we name you? Ooh! What, we'll, na we'll name him Alan. He looks like the actor, Alan, something Alan. Not Tim Allen, no, not Tim Allen. Brian! Who is at the front door? Oh. This is Ariel, because of her red hair and her green outfit. Have a good day, Ariel. Thank you, Rebecca. We're not at level 99 yet. We're at level 96. We're almost to level 99. We're getting there. We will be there by tonight. Lizzie says good morning to Michaela and Sophie. Good morning. They said good morning. This is Kevin. Have a good night, Kevin. Gary is back. Oh, excuse me. Lieutenant Dan is back. Oh, excuse me, burpee burpee. 36, 3960. This is Bruno. Bruno made fun of my expensive product, so we don't talk about Bruno. Have a good night, Bruno. 
This is oh, Alan. This is Alan. This is Alan. There is a popular actor with the name Alan. Alan something. He was in the four seasons. He was on an episode of House, I believe. He, he's been in so many things. He was on M.A.S.H. I can't remember his last name. Unless Alan is his last... No, I think it's his first name. Have a good night. This is Clark Kent. Yeah, Clark. 22, 20, 1, 2, 50, 60, 70. Have a good night. This is Viola. Come on! <laughs> 2985. Have a good night. And this is Barry. He's named after the guy from uh, The Eternals. And Saltburn, I think, is the name of the movie. Kind of looks like him. This is... This is... Oh my gosh, what is his name? John, that's his name. B Sex in the City, John. Anderson Cooper looks like him, but with silver hair. Okay. 167.15. Thank you, John. Have a good night. Brittany's back with another big order. Lovely. 62.35. Have a good night. Hey, sweaters. How you doing? Have a good night, Brian. Mr. President, welcome back. Ran out of soap. Michelle will appreciate it. That you did another supermarket run. <laughs> I was like making sure I got the right amount in. I don't want to overcharge the president. Even former presidents are still called Mr. President. They've earned that title. Right? I mean, that's what I was taught in school. If it's changed, please let me know. They changed math, of all things, so they could tra you know, change other stuff. Have a good night, Mr. Smith. Or should I say Agent Smith? Viola! 22.95. Have a good night. Turn this off. Are we good? Are we done? I think everyone's in a line already. No one else is shopping. Nope. Julia's still shopping? Or no, Julia's done. Yep, Julia's done. You have to like that type of movie. I didn't care for it. Oh... Thank you, Yoshi. Alan Alda. Yes. That's who I was thinking about. Alan Alda. I loved him in uh, Four Seasons. The, the Four Seasons. I did not grab the concept of that movie because, well, I was a very young kid when that movie was out. I just loved the food scenes. Like, in the beginning of the, the movie, it's a group of friends who go to a log cabin in the woods and... They're spending time with each other. They're cooking Chinese food. But I didn't understand that the whole concept of, a, of the movie was that one of their friends was getting divorced. And bringing along his new girlfriend along for the rest of the fun friend trips. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was, like, more interested in the food that they were having. They showed a lot of food. It looked good. Still an entertaining movie. But it was all about the food. And there's a scene where they're eating bread in a car, a Mercedes Benz, and the guy's like, don't eat! Don't eat! <laughs> Have you seen the game lately? No, Bobby Wolf, I haven't. Thank you for reminding me. Always good to save the game. You never know when it might crash. Look at that. 
Perfect day, 116 satisfied customers. Nobody shortchanged, no products not found, and nothing found expensive. Perfect. Oh, look at the profit though. That profit is bad. We spent a lot yesterday. Salt and toilet paper. What would happen if I just opened the store right away? You think we would get a couple com complaints? People saying they can't find stuff if we just open the store right away. Salt and toilet paper. Salt and toilet paper. That's good. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, sixteen sixty-five. You know what, guys? Once we hit level 97, I'm going to take a break. I want to eat my bagel. Makaya made this delicious bagel right in front of me, and I want to eat it while it's still hot. Bills and bills. You saw it. I paid. Mary says I need apple juice. Thank you, Mary. I will buy juice. Bought. Three is a good number. Three is a good number. It's also a magic number. Whoever changed math. No, I'm going to be positive. Positive energy. <laughs> I'm gonna not going to say what I was going to say. But I was like, oh my gosh. I love math. I loved how I learned math. I understood what I learned. And they changed math, and now I don't understand it. They, they changed it to make it easier for kids to understand why. I guess that saying, you know, can't teach an old dog new tricks. Can't teach this old dog new math. Nope. Oh, I have too many. Uh oh. Do we have we have a section over here where I can put extras, right? Yeah. Two times zero, zero. Anything multiplied by zero will always be zero. Thank goodness that's still the same. Two times two, four. Four times two, eight. Anything multiplied by two, it's just. Even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Do they still teach that? And when did they start teaching multiplication in first grade? Like, wow. Advanced math. I remember. You know, kindergarten, you learn your colors, you learn to write your name. Apparently, kindergarten, you can learn adding and subtracting. You know, nothing too crazy, though. You know, like 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. And then you get into first grade and you learn more complicated math, like 20 plus 4, 21 plus 10. Second grade, add subtraction and addition. Third grade, multiplication. Fourth grade, division. No, that's not a thing anymore. It was when I was growing up. More books. More books. I know, I was like, I was just going to open the store, but I'm like, man, my shelves are bare. Again. No one complained in the last round that they couldn't find anything, which was great. <laughs> But let's look at the store, shall we? Let's go take a look at the shelves. Books, zero, 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 zero. No chicken there. Peanut butter, honey looks good, tea looks good. We need potatoes. Oh, we need a lot of potatoes. Like, oh my gosh. Could use another box of hot sauce, mayo, coffee, salt. I mean, technically we could go this round without buying stuff. And see how we do. But we have no spaghetti. Only nine pieces of sugar. No pink sugar. No red bags of pasta. Oh, wow. 
Cleaning supply. Oh my gosh. We got to have bleach. Yeah. I'm going to save it. I'm I'm good. <laughs> this bagel is calling my name. I think many schools are trying to go back to tr traditional math, Hot Shadows. I would hope so because this this new curriculum that they have for kids, I think it's just way too stressful. Wait, you know, I know you want to have like advanced engineers and scientists but you know if you're stressing out the kids too much with this new curriculum they're still kids let them be kids they have plenty of time to grow up i want my kids to have fun go play on the monkey bars not stress over state testing iq testing which is really advanced stuff that I didn't even learn until I was in college. You know what? We're going to open the store. I don't care. If they complain, my bad. But we're almost to level 97. We're almost there. We can do it. If I don't... If I don't get behind the cashier... Or the ca cashier. If I don't get behind the register, excuse me, I'm the cashier... They don't get behind the register and I just help my boys restock. We can do this. We can grind without anybody complaining. They didn't find anything on the shelf. Because every time someone complains, we lose a point. We lose an SP. And that will bring down our level. Which will make us take longer to get to 97. And we don't want to do that. I'm taking a quick look. Everything looks great. Oh, 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 cheese? Cheese. Orange cheese. Do I have orange cheese? Please tell me I have orange cheese. Orange cheese? I do. I have four, but I have no blue cheese. Let's put blue cheese. Cheese. So it's the mozzarella cheese, and I'll get one of these. Perfect. Escape. Escape. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, who's going to bet? Make your predictions now. Is someone going to complain? Or are we going to get no complaints? If we do get a complaint, how many are going to complain? Like two people? I'll, I'll bet we'll have two complaints. At least one. Something's going to run out. I have a feeling. I have so many zeros on the floor. But... We can still get to 97. We can still do it. And there's always a Karen. <laughs> there's always a Karen to say, as soon as I run out of a product, there will be a Karen right away to say, I can't find ice cream. I can't find my book. I can't find my wine. My boys are fast, but if they have a lot to restock, then they can, unfortunately, let the shelves go bare. So I have to be careful, make sure I take a lap around the store and see if anything's missing, because if it is, I can help them. I can help them grab the item and put it on the shelf faster than they can. White book? This one, Dawn? This this white book? Is there any of the white book? I need the black one. The mother and child? This one sells a... Oh, not four. Three. Because if I get three, I only pay two dollars. But if I get four, I have to pay four dollars in shipping. I'll get the max amount at the cheapest shipping. And if I do 10 products, you only get one additional item for free of shipping. Really? If you get three items, it's $2 for shipping. If you get six items, it's $4 for shipping. If you get 
eight items, it's eight dollars, and if you get ten, it's still eight dollars. Oh, so it's actually two, two free, two items without increasing shipping if you get ten. Does that make sense? <laughs> potatoes! I need to order potatoes. Ay, ay, ay. My potato section is bare. One, two, three. I will put two on the shelf and then one in the store for my boys. Wee! And then I was told that at nine o'clock, if you hurry up and close your store, you know, no people, no more people. Can, what? What? Oh, checkouts are full. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I saw someone talking. I thought they said they couldn't find something, but nope, they were just saying checkout was full. If I close right at nine o'clock, no more people can come in and I have less of a chance of running out of things and people complaining. Okay, I better help. All right, I'm next in line. Who's next in line? I'm ready to check you out. This is Lloyd, I remember. Saloon Lloyd. 25, 34, 45. Have a good day, Lloyd. Lieutenant Dan. Ooh, Lieutenant Dan having a barbecue there. Have a good day, Lieutenant Dan. Philip! Long time no see, Philip. Look at this excellent order you have. I love it! Please be 200. Ah! So close. So close, Philip Phil. Hello, John. How you doing there, Mr. Big? Oh, you want to change. 50, 65, 6, 7, 8, 5. Have a good day. I don't know her name. We need a... Ava? I think her name... We were, th we were thinking about like Ava Mendez or something. Have a good day. Mr. President, welcome back. Woo! Michelle sent you on a shopping run, didn't she? Look at that. Look at all these goodies. Lovely. Why do you want these small little eggs? Why don't you just get the bigger carton it would have been cheaper have a good day hello Barbie how you doing 70 cents 50 60 70 have a good day Alan welcome to Clausen's Alan Alda one two oh that's where I've seen Alan Alda he was on the blacklist yeah, he was on the blacklist with the other gentleman. Oh, what is his name? He's a very popular actor. I loved him in Stargate. He, he wore glasses. He was the scientist. What's his name? He was also in, in Pretty in Pink. Ugh, his name is at the tip of my tongue. Lloyd, you're back. You need a change. Have a good night. Look at this order. Are you 200? No, nope, 164. Have a good day. Oh my gosh. It's 9 p.m. Look at all these people. I need to close the store. So no more people come. Ah, she came in. It were closed, but the store wasn't closed. Have a good day. Close the store. Close the store. Close the store. Here we go. Okay. Whee! So if we do run out of items with more people coming in, we're going to lose points. Hopefully, with the amount of people we have now, we won't run out of anything. And keep all our points. 10, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. Have a good day. Or night. Good night. <laughs> Barbie, you've been working out. Look at those toned arms. Shoot, you got Angela Bassett arms. Angela Bassett has the best arms. I want her arms. Nobody else coming over here? Are we done? Oh my gosh, look at his line. His line is huge. Thank you, Sid. You made the right decision coming to my line. So you don't have to wait. Have a good night. Jason, Bill, Ariel, Viola, Coraline. 
Kendall, Janelle, Chad. Nobody's coming here? Really? Interesting. <laughs> Bobby Wolf is all, I wish I had the ability to remember my entire life in complete detail from the start. <laughs> Who can do that? Who can do that? 525. Micaiah says, my memory is crazy. I used to have a photographic memory when I was little. I used to be able to speed read. And then as I got older, lost it. Boop. Boop. No, nobody? Lieutenant Dan? No. All right, I guess I'm done. I guess I'm done. I'm going to help my boys restock. And as Bobby Wolf should, you know, remind me. Well, you did remind me. I'm going to save right now, Bobby Wolf, just in case. Let's go help the boys restock until I can close this day off. Get rid of the boxes with, like, only one or two items. Because that's just wasting space. They both have 16. Okay. Hey, Frog Zim, how you doing? Lego is... Oh, yeah, I'm at level 97. I thought Lego was at 97. We just hit 97, guys. I want to eat my bagel, take a little break, edit today's video, finish editing today's video. I want to get that up for you guys before I go to work. Are we empty? Yep. I hope I can get it done. It's a 30-minute video, but the more I edit it, it's getting shorter. We'll do pasta next. Two boxes on there with only nine total. Mm -mm. These are low amounts. Huh, <laughs> one. Well, at least we could get rid of that box. Demi says, I can speed read. Yeah, I went to a class that taught us how to speed read when I was younger. How to speed read. Oh, that's rice. Oh, is that it? Yay! Empty box. Nice. All right, we're at level 97. Any more people shopping? Or are we done? All right, let's end the day. Let's see if anybody complained. <gasps> yes! A perfect day! 121 customers, you guys. That's it. We're ending it today. Just like that. Oh, wait. Let me change the rice real quick. For next time. We'll get on later on today. Probably Micaiah or me when I get back from work tonight. If I didn't have a very... No, I'll get back on. I'll get back on tonight. We, we promised to hit level 99. Level 99. We are going to make it. All right, guys, you have a good day. Have a good night, Lizzie. Don't stay up too late. I am going to enjoy this bagel that Micaiah made for me. Enjoy my coffee. Edit today's video. Get it ready for today. And, well, either I or my hubby will see you in a few hours to get us to level 99. All right? Saving the day. Yay. All right, guys. Can I quit? Huh? Is this working? There it is. Okay. Close that.